Snyder make the walk here tonight. His takedowns are really some of the best in the game. So explosive, great technique behind them. Certainly you see shades of his collegiate wrestling career. His opponent's got to watch out for those, but even an opponent with good takedown defense will succumb to this guy's shots. No telegraph behind him. When this guy wants to take you down, more often than not, he succeeds. This guy has nasty chokes. His ability to cinch up a choke and finish it from any position is truly elite. Power, power, power. As he makes the walk tonight, no denying what he'll be trying to do to unleash some of the more devastating kicks we have seen in the UFC in years. Just brutally powerful, and oftentimes he'll do major damage just by landing one or two kicks to that lead leg or to the body, thereby changing the complexion of the fight. You talk about guys like Tiago Alves, Jose Aldo Jr. Enter this young man. Scary, scary power on his kicking game. This guy has some of the best guard passing in all of mixed martial arts. His technique and the speed of his execution is outstanding. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 25 years old. Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 256 pounds. Fighting out of Kanago, Japan, the king! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 223 pounds. Fighting at a Boulder Gorse, Ukraine, the great! And with the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. Uh, you ready? You ready? We are fight. underway. <laughs> we got tagged there. to it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. towards his head. Eh, missed on that one, Joe. Oh. Excellent exchange there. Pretty good straight punch for him there, Joe. Left hand. And there he swung with a haymaker. Oh, nice defense there, Joe, to block that shot. First takedown attempt is there. Working from side control. Holding him here, moving to north-south position. He's got that north-south choke tight. He wants to move his opponent's left arm out of the way. That's the arm that's defending. Once he gets that out of the way, then he can work the Trend choke. Trend technique, perfect technique, and getting that choke for the victory. 
Well, yeah, Joe, he told us during fight week he's been working dutifully on his submission game and he was gonna look for an opening here tonight. Safe to say he found one near perfect setup on the choke. It was sunk in deep and his opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 57 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Well, what a submission win for this oncoming force here tonight. I think he's going to be a problem for a lot of fighters in this